You've just downloaded Battlefield 6, you're hyped to play, but instead of dropping into the fight, you get this dreaded message. First, we need to check if it's actually on, so hit Windows plus R, then type msinfo32 and hit enter. Now look for secure boot state. If it says on, you're all sorted. If it says off or unsupported, then keep watching. Next, press the Windows and S key, type CMD, right click, command prompt and select run as admin. Now this bit, you want to type disk part, hit enter and then hit list disk and this will show you all of the disks that you have on your PC. Now look for your main drive in the list, if there's a star under the GPT column, you're good, but if there's no star, your drive is in MBR and you'll need to convert it to GPT before Secure Boot will work. Now you can do this with Microsoft's MBR2 GPT tool without losing data, but always, always, always make sure you back up your files before changing anything, and I'm not liable if any data gets destroyed, so yeah. So then what you want to do is you want to turn your computer off, restart it, and then you want to mash the delete button. Not the backspace, but the actual delete key. Some, some computers have F2, others F12 and F11. So from there, you want to go over to security and then go down to trusted computing. You want to double check that TPM is on. If you haven't got TPM, you're going to struggle. And then from there, you want to make sure that your Windows OS configuration is UEFI, so that's U-E-F-I and not CSM. So once you've done that, go into Secure Boot, make sure that is then enabled, and then simply restart your computer and Secure Boot should be all sorted. And then from there, it's just a case of rebooting your PC. Now, all BIOS systems will be completely different and they all look mental, like they're from the 90s. So just make sure that you know what the boot key is and you know exactly where to go to try and find secure boot on your BIOS. And then that should be it. No more secure boot or TPM issues keeping you out of Battlefield 6. So if this has helped, please hit the like button, subscribe for more quick fixes and gameplay, and let me know in the comments if you want me to cover other launch problems. My name's Biff, see you next time.